Hey Shai, this is just a really quick video using my iPhone here. Um, to find the missing side, um, basically all you've got to do is think about solving the triangle just like you would when you're solving for the missing angle. The first thing you have to do is figure out where you're looking from or the perspective. Since they're talking about this 39 degrees, you're just going to draw a guy there. And that's telling you that's the perspective he's looking from and from that you can label your triangle. So if he looks across, he sees this opposite side. This would be your 11, would be your H. And your X would be your left over your A. Okay, so now that you've labeled the different sides of your triangle, the next thing to do would be figuring out, do I use sine, cosine, or tangent? And here's how you figure it out. You have to use the 11 because they tell you that information you need it. So that means you're using your H and you have to use your A because you're trying to find X. So that means that you have to use the A side. You don't have to use the O side and you don't want to because there's no information given here. So you're just using um, A and H, so that would be ka or cosine, and you just write out your formula. Then plug everything in just like um, you did in the other examples. The angle is the angle we're looking at, which is 39 degrees. The A is X, because we don't know what it is, and the H is 11. Okay, the next thing you've got to do, and I'll just try to slide down here, um, you've got to solve for X, and the goal here is to try to get X by itself, and you've got this divide 11 here, so you want to get the X by itself. All you've got to do is bring the 11 up to the other side, and it will multiply on the other side. So all I've got to do is go cos 39, first, and then times it by the 11. So all I did was bring the 11 up, and it's now multiplying. But in your calculator, make sure that you press cos 39 equals, then times it by 11, and that'll tell you your answer. So if I do that, I go cos 39, I press equals, I times it by 11, and I press equals again, and I get x equals 8.5. And that's it. You're done.